All right, guys. For your entertainment and so you don't have to I'm doing all the stupid stuff um, this is what you do this is what happens when you do what people suggest on the internet <laughs> this could go all go horribly wrong um, as you saw before the power steering pump was just going mad uh, when it was connected directly to my uh, my power steering rack so somebody on the internet suggested create a closed loop where the thing just feeds itself and the theory is it should come up to pressure and then come back down again or something uh, something should happen not quite sure what but anyway this is what happens when you have a power steering an electric power steering pump and you feed it right back on itself using pipework which is completely unsuitable um, and incredibly likely to blow off and cause a mess uh, yeah this is what happens when you do that Yeah, pretty much the same as what it was doing before, but I suspect there's a lot of air in there, so what I'll do is I'll get my ammeter, stick it on, and see just what current we're drawing. I know you can't see that, my apologies for that, but... I'll call out to you what it's doing. We'll try it again. There we go. One amp, two amps, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, yeah, it's just getting silly. 23 amps. Oops. Yeah, how did I guess that was going to happen? <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> um... That's why I had lots of cardboard and stuff. I don't know if you can see that in there. Underneath. Uh, oh well. I kind of guessed that would, that would happen, but it proved the point. It didn't, um, it didn't work any better that way than it did before. <laughs> Damn. Okay, guys, you were all witnesses to the fact that this was a great big fat failure <laughs> entertaining failure too but as you can see the damage isn't too bad I had lots of cardboard down there I, I had anticipated that the that this would be the failure point and had deliberately pointed it that direction towards the cardboard so did it fail because well, we're not worried about this failure, that, that was, everybody predicted that one. But, did it fail to come down to the correct uh, level of pressure because of the way I had it connected? Does it need to see some kind of resistance to come down to the correct level of pressure? Or is this a faulty pump? From what I've been told, this pump should have ramped up to a certain level and then come back down again so that it would basically sit around about the 7-8 uh, 
amp mark and just gently pump away until you go to turn the steering wheel and then it would the pressure would ramp up. So did it fail because it wasn't seeing sufficient back pressure from the, the power steering rack and also from this little closed loop system? Or did it fail because it is a faulty pump? That I don't know. Obviously this is some uh, bought off eBay 30 quid job probably off some old ancient old car it may have been faulty for years who knows uh, at this stage I have no idea my understanding is that like I say it should have uh, when it was connected both to the car I'm not sure about here but when it was connected to the car it, the, the current should come back down again so that it um, it sits at a steady uh, 7 or 8 amps and not 25 amps like I was saying so what do I do? do you order a new one of these? or do I try and find another way of connecting it? hmm not sure uh, I'll throw it out to the internet and see what the consensus is but at least it was entertaining <laughs> anyway thank you for watching uh, if you have been and if you liked what you see hit the subscribe button and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.